हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू जैकेट एजुकेशनल चैनल सो दिस इज द पार्ट ट्वेंटी फॉर द यूनिट वाइज सिलेबस प्रिपरेशन फॉर द नेट एनवायरमेंटल साइंस पेपर एंड हियर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू दिस सीरीज इफ यू हैवन चेक द प्रीवियस पार्ट्स यू कैन चेक द लिंक गिवन इन द आई बटन यू कैन ऑल्सो जॉइन आवर टेलीग्राम एंड इंस्टाग्राम पेज टू एक्सटेंड योर प्रिपरेशन फॉर द एनवायरमेंटल साइंस एंट्रेंस एग्जामिनेशन सो लेट स्टार्ट टू डेज वीडियो so in the unit 1 that is fundamentals of environmental science there is a topic that is concept of sustainable development which today we are going to know and we will only know what questions are asked from which of the following backgrounds so jo jo question pucha jata hai concept of sustainable development se hum usko aaj padhenge so first thing we should know how this sustainable development term was used so iske history mein jayenge so the questions are asked on the basis of these things also you should note down all these things i am repeating so first thing is the most widely used definition of the sustainable development is that given by the world commission on environment and development so it is telling that the most widely used definition of the sustainable development is given by the world commission on environment and development that is known as wced you should write down in its milestone report so the report was published in the year 1987 and the report name was our common future so these questions are very often asked you should note down the world commission on environment on development has its milestone report named as our common future in 1987 also known as the brentland report so here the brentland is not the name of any place brentland you should know it was the name of the first head of the brentland commission who was the prime minister of norway that is gro brentland so it was for the general knowledge let's move to the definition part which is given in this world commission on environment development the definition of the sustainable development was given as sustainable development is the development that meets the needs of the present that means present generation present situation without compromising the ability of the future generations to meet their own needs so it is telling that sustainable development means it the development that will meet the needs of the present generation without compromising with the future generation ability to meet their own needs so this has the two key concepts which is mentioned in the world commission on environment and development so the concept of need was given in particular the essential need of the world's poor so these things we often forget that it was to fulfill the essential needs of the world's poor to which overriding priority should be given that means priority should be given to fulfill the needs of the world's poor and the next concept was the idea of limitation that means we should limit the state of technology and social organizations on the environment to meet the present and future needs so that should be limitation so that both present and future generations can enjoy the benefits so this was the definition given by the wced in 1987 let's move and know the definition given by the united nations environment program so this is also important so the definition for the sustainable development given by unep is development which improves people's quality of life within the carrying capacity of earth's life support system so this is also telling it should improve the people's quality of life but not compromising with the earth's life support system so it will be within the carrying capacity of the earth's life support system so now let's move to the next slide and know very important things for the entrance purpose yes these things you should note down so i will talk about uncd that is united nations conference on environment and development is known as rio de janeiro earth summit or rio summit only or rio conference so this is having so many names it is also called as earth summit and in portuguese it is also called as eco 92 why because it was held in the year 1992 so it was a major united nations conference held in rio de janeiro in brazil from june 3 to june 14 so this everything you should write down and why we are discussing about this rio summit i will tell you because the concept of sustainable development formed the basis of this rio summit so this rio summit was having the basic the concept of sustainable development for the discussion and the summit marked the first international attempt to draw up action plans 
and strategies for moving towards a more sustainable pattern of development. So in this summit, it was the first time that international attempt was taken for the action plans and strategies to move towards sustainable pattern of development. And these things you should write down when it took place, what are its name. So I hope you have written all these things. Let's move to the next slide. Next thing we will know about the WSSD. Yes, it is also important. So the full form of WSSD is World Summit on Sustainable Development, which took place in the year 2002. You should note down all these things in Johannesburg, South Africa. So this is also known as the Johannesburg Summit, which was from 26th August to 4th September 2002. So this was convened to discuss the sustainable development organization. So this summit was to discuss about the organizations which were working for the sustainable development, which was done 10 years after the first Earth summit, that is Rio summit, which we learned in the previous slide. So after 10 years, that means it was conducted, that is Rio summit was conducted in 1992. So plus 10 years if you add it will be 2002 so why i am doing this mathematics because it is also called as rio plus 10 which is called as this wssd is called as rio plus 10 because rio was conducted rio summit in 1992 plus 10 years means 2002 so this summit that is wssd is also known as rio plus 10 summit let's move to the next slide now we will know about the sustainable development goals so what are the things going on throughout the world by the united nations so we should know here that united nations member states in 2015 they adopted 17 sustainable development goals with 169 targets so you should write 169 targets 17 goals were under the sustainable development goals adopted by all the United Nations member state in 2015 which was to be reached by 2030. So by 2030 all these goals are to be reached. The goals and targets are universal meaning they apply to all the countries around the world not just the poor countries. So it started sustainable development as you know mostly focusing on the poor people poor countries but here it is telling not just poor countries but for all the countries this goal should work. So these 17 goals are also important. You should note down. First is no poverty. Second is zero hunger. Third is good health and well-being. Next is quality education. Gender equality for all. Clean water and sanitation. Affordable and clean energy. Decent work and economic growth. Industry innovation and infrastructure. Reduced inequalities among the communities. Sustainable cities and communities. Responsible consumption and production of resources. You should be going for the climate action, life below water we should conserve, life on land we should also conserve. Sixteenth one is the peace, justice and strong institution throughout the world. And seventeenth, the most important partnership for the goal. So all the nations should come and partnership should be there among all the nations to fulfill all these goals. So these are the 17 goals under the sustainable development goals which are important and very frequently asked in the examination. So today we have discussed about the concept of sustainable development, its definition, its origin, history, what are the summit under that and what are the sustainable development goals to be reached by 2030. So I hope you have learned something new from here. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification icon to get all further updates related to environmental science examinations. So keep smiling, believe in yourself. See you guys in our next video.